guys, welcome back. If you're new, hello, my name is Sarah, and I make lots of food videos like these. I make lots of what's for dinner videos, and cooking videos, and clean with me videos, and decorating videos, and all that lifestyle content. I also make lots of mommy videos, as well as beauty and plus size fashion. Beauty, my makeup, not like I'm a beauty, I meant like I put makeup on. Anyway, <laughs> I do beauty and plus size fashion, so if you're interested in any of that, I would love it if you stuck around and followed and became a part of our little family. In today's video, is really exciting because it's collab with Amanda from Mom's Messy Kitchen. I have collabed with her before. She's amazing. She's so kind. I love her. I love her videos. I'm sure you guys all know who she is and if you don't, you really need to subscribe because she does amazing what's for dinner videos and food content. She's so creative and always puts out new stuff for the holidays and different times of year and I definitely recommend you checking her out. And she came up with this great idea to do kind of 12 days of Christmas recipes and it can go from anywhere from um, cookies and baking to dinner to breakfast to whatever just a Christmassy themed um, meal or food item I guess and um, she is collabing with a bunch of different youtubers for the 12 days each day is a new youtuber and today I'm lucky enough to be one of those women she's collabing with and so today's video and recipe is actually going to be for Christmas breakfast every year I always make breakfast for my family um, either it's our small family or we'll go over to like my mom's house and celebrate with my brothers and my kids in the background <laughs> and um, I'll make either like a breakfast casserole or eggnog fridge toast or just a bunch of different recipes. I like to try out a new one every year and this year is no exception. I always like to kind of taste test first because you don't want like a like a bad Christmas morning breakfast, you know? So I do like to taste test and try it out first. So today we're actually going to make a um, kind of like spinach spinach not spinach sausage and gravy casserole with like biscuits um i got this recipe off of pinterest and it looks amazing i love like gravy and biscuits and sausage like i think it's one of my all-time favorites like comforting heartwarming and probably heart clogging breakfasts and so i found this like casserole idea which you can make ahead so if you want to make it on Christmas Eve so you can just pop it in the oven in the morning it can be baking while your family is opening presents it's perfect for that so we are gonna make it today and without further ado let's get started okay let's get started on the ingredients you're gonna need you're going to need eggs some milk Cheese. I'm using sharp cheddar and I'm using a block of cheese because I think freshly grated tastes better. But you can buy prepackaged um, grated cheese in whatever intensity of cheddar you like. Um, I'm using maple sausage, but you once again can use whatever sausage you would like. But you need a pound of sausage, ground sausage, breakfast sausage. <laughs> um, and you can make your homemade gravy if you'd like. I'm using the Pioneer Country Gravy Mix. I love this country gravy. I think it's the best and it's inexpensive. And I'm using two packs. I'm doubling the gravy recipe because that's actually something recommended in the comments. But once again, you can use however much or however little gravy that you want. And then I just got a full can of the Honey Butter Grand's Flaky Layer Biscuits. Now, you're only supposed to have about eight biscuits, but these are on the bigger side, um, but I think it'll be totally fine. And I got the Honey Butter flavor, just to add a little bit of sweetness in it, a little sweet and savory action going on. And that is all the ingredients. Those are all the ingredients you need. You probably already have the eggs and the milk and maybe even the cheese on hand. This is a really inexpensive breakfast and I think it's going to turn out great. So let's get started on cooking. All right, we are going to start by browning our ground sausage. Like I said before, I'm using maple for a bit more of a sweetness to it, but you could totally use like regular, mild, spicy, what have you, just depending on what you're feeling like and how you want to spice up or non-spice up your casserole. Next, I'm just going to grate my cheese. I grated about three-fourths of this bar and then used about a cup and 
little bit over a cup of it. Um, I added a little extra cheese because I like cheese, but um, that's totally up to you and how much you want to add. And then we're going to start on the gravy. So I have a pot of boiling water going and I'm just going to mix the gravy as it says on the package. Really easy. Once again, you can make your own gravy, but this gravy is delicious if you can get your hands on it. I highly recommend it, but I'm just going to follow directions and whisk my little heart away with the gravy. Next, we are getting started on our egg mixture. And like I said, I added two extra eggs into the mix. Um, that is what a lot of the comments suggested on doing just to make it a little bit more um, substantial and have a bit more of like the casserole effect. So I did add two extra eggs. So in total, I used eight eggs and um, it was really easy. This recipe is so simple. My daughter wanted to come in and help and you're gonna spot her in a second, but I just um, cracked all of my eggs and then I popped in my half a cup of milk and then um, the recipe calls for like salt and pepper to taste obviously I'm not going to taste my raw, raw egg my raw egg mixture so I just did a little bit um, of salt and pepper the, pe the gravy already is peppered and I don't want it to be too peppery for my kids and since we're having sausage and the gravy it's going to be already salty too so I just kind of kept it kind of low with the salt and the pepper and didn't go overboard with it but once again to each his own you do what you'd like and then I just whisked that really well to make sure all the eggs were combined and that we didn't have any egg yolks still remaining next we're going to start on our biscuits once again these are the Grand's flaky layer biscuits and the honey butter I wanted again like that kind of sweetness to it um, these are a little bit larger than your average biscuits but the recipe actually used these ones so I wasn't super concerned I ended up cutting them up in fourths but then I went back and cut those up in half again just to make sure that I had a small enough cubes and um, or little triangles if you will and that it would fully cover the bottom of my dish without it overcooking or being undercooked in certain spots um, then I'm just taking my 13 by 9 pan heavily greasing the bottom because you do not want the biscuits to burn or stick to the bottom of the pan and just spreading those out pretty evenly through it. Um, this was so satisfying like cutting those biscuits I would have cut like three more tubes if I had them like it felt like slime <laughs> for an adult. It was so satisfying and like all the layers in between call me crazy. Anyway um, well for whatever reason my clip got deleted of me putting sausage on it but I just broke up a sausage a little bit more after it was all round up popped it on top of the biscuits and then I'm just popping on my cheddar cheese right on top um, the recipe actually shows to put the egg mixture on then the gravy but the video that they posted shows the reverse um, so I followed what the recipe said but I'm sure it really doesn't matter at the end of the day but I ended up popping the egg mixture on top really so it could get all soaked through all the layers I just Felt that would be better than putting the gravy because that's going to kind of act like a shield if you will so um, I put the egg mixture on but I'm sure it will work either way and then I'm just going to pop on the gravy which looks incredibly disgusting to me <laughs> like this it's so like gelatinous and not attractive but I'm sure it's going to taste delicious so I just pop that on top and then I spread it out as evenly as I could um, with my spatula and then I'm popping that bad boy into the oven I preheated my oven um, at 350 and it cooked for about 35 to 45 minutes. If you do make it ahead of time, you're going to add 20 minutes to the cook time. Okay, this ended up turning out really, really yummy. My husband and I both really liked it. Please excuse the gouge mark that's in the middle of it. He got a little too excited and was trying to test it out. We did kind of keep it in there probably for close to an hour, but it was refrigerated before we popped it in so it took a little bit longer but it was totally worth it highly recommend all right guys so I hope you enjoyed that recipe and if you try it please let me know down below if you enjoyed it and if your family liked it and if you tried it at all just let me know I love when you guys tell me that you end up trying out my recipes it makes me feel so good and I love when you guys give me advice on like things how you souped it up or did something different um, I love getting ideas and I love tweaking my recipes as well so please let me know if you do try it and what you guys thought 
and um, please make sure you go check out Amanda's channel. She is amazing. I'm sure you will love her if you don't already know her. Um, her link to her channel will be below. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are having a very, very Merry Christmas and a happy holiday season. And I love each and every one of you. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.